commandos killed at least nine Palestinians, including an elderly woman, and wounded a dozen more during clashes with gunmen on Thursday in Jenin, witnesses and medics said. It was the highest death toll for years in the Flashpoint town, which is in the occupied West Bank. Palestinian officials said seven of the dead were gunmen and the other two civilians. UN and Arab mediators said they were in talks with Israel and Palestinian factions in the hope of heading off further flare-ups. Janine is among areas of the Northern West Bank that have seen intensified Israeli operations in the last year. The Israeli military said it sent special forces into Janine to detain members of the Islamic Jihad armed group, which it suspects of having carried out, quote, multiple major terror attacks in its cities. It said it shot several members of the group after they opened fire. No Israelis were killed. During the three-hour clash, gunfire echoed through the camp's cramped alleys, and militants set off improvised bombs. Youths pelted army vehicles with rocks. Islamic Jihad confirmed battling Israeli forces as they carried out the unusually deep raid into Janine's refugee camp, a militant bastion. Hamas said its men also took part. Both groups reject coexistence with Israel. Hamas spokesperson Hazem Karsen blamed the Janine escalation on the new hard-right government of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. A major massacre that the Israeli occupation army committed this morning in Janine City confirms the racist, fascist and criminal right wing occupation government. This aggression is in addition to the continued violations of our acts in mosque and against the Palestinians in Israel and show that this government insists on escalating the situation. The resistance will always be ready to defend its people everywhere. <laughs> At least one Palestinian was detained during the raid, the military statement said.